G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and we have just been ambushed. Um, so we have received our new mission orders, we are to head out to the Norwegian coast or the, uh, the Norwegian sea and start hunting down a US fleet. Sun up pings. Shit torpedo in the water. I'm not even entirely sure what was going to attack by here. I didn't see anything on the map. We just went straight into combat. Um, yeah, we were transiting to the Norwegian Sea. Uh, a US fleet is supposed to be coming into that area with two capital ships, and that's our primary target for this mission. Um, we were at 30 knots because we were still in Russian waters trying to make our way there, and we just got jumped. Turn on the course so we don't worry about breaking the wire. Oh, every single time. got a torpedo coming towards us at the moment. I'm just holding five knots trying to hear this bloody thing. Not getting any returns on active, so there's no point in blowing our eardrums out anymore. Now, now we're in 600 feet of water and there is a duct, but we haven't got a huge amount of space to work with here. I suspect this is a submarine. If this was a surface ship, we would have already heard this. Right. So same as always, I'm using the wire here to manually control the torpedo. I'm just going to follow its active pin. Okay, so we now have Sierra 1. What are you? What are you? What are you? I reckon. It's the fun part about this mod, there are so many. I reckon that's it. I reckon that's it. Soro. It's an Italian boat. So many that are so close here at the moment. Australian boat. A walrus. That lines up better. I reckon it's a walrus. I know nothing about this particular boat, so. Um, I've got nothing to say on this one. I know nothing about the build, nothing about the design, nothing about its capabilities. I suppose this is a good thing for me to probably uh, do a bit of reading on. Okay. So we still have no idea where this torpedo is. It's not rendered in 3D either because we can't see it. It's far enough out that... Uh, we can't pick up the uh, wash past the body of its own torpedo at the moment. The fun of Soviet passive sonar, or um, uh, Soviet hy hydroacoustics, not particularly great. Alpha is very much a deaf boat. Although, I reckon our pickup to the walrus at 9.3 is actually fairly accurate at the moment. I 
kind of surprised we haven't seen anything about that torpedo yet. I wonder if they shot it off in a completely wrong direction. That'd be nice. Time acceleration and the range was obviously wrong. There's their torpedo. But it's still actually quite a ways out. Alright, um. Okay. The walrus is below. Alright. That's part of the reason we haven't detected it yet. It shouldn't matter at this kind of range, but just in case. Right, so that should have the torpedo on depth with the walrus. At least based on the information we currently have. Come on, fishy, 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 pick him up. I don't want to move the sub just yet because I'll break the wire, especially at 41 knots that the um, the the alpha can do. I'll snap the wire the second I accelerate. So I want to try and get this torpedo locked onto the walrus first before I start going evasive against this buddy. Or likely an ad cap that's coming in at the moment. Alright, there's this went active and it's close. Jeez. Yeah, we don't have a choice. Um, yeah, the range data we've got is really wrong. That'll have to do. Oh, it's popping countermeasures. Cool. The torpedo is almost there. Use the torpedoes. There we go. Oh, this is going to be close. Everything up. Everything up. Everything up. Couldn't have flared. Couldn't have. Uh, uh, uh. Couldn't have waited any longer on that one. All right, so now it's time for some torpedo beats. Uh, 600 feet of water, that thing's probably gonna pick us back up even near the surface, but it'll make it climb. We might get lucky, you never know. Although at flank speed, you can probably hear, uh, hear an alpha across the goddamn Pacific, so. Yep, there it goes, it's locked onto us again. That's okay. That's okay. It's behind us. You probably shouldn't use that countermeasure, but that's alright. It's okay. Now we've just got to keep ahead of the Mark 48 here. At least I'm assuming it'd be a Mark 48. Unless it's something that's built mid uh Well, it could be something built in house. This end of the world, potentially a British torpedo. I'm not entirely sure what they would use. I might have to do a little bit of research. If we're going to start encountering stuff like this, I'm going to have to do a little bit more reading into exactly what these particular subs are capable of. Because yeah, I'm just I'm just making guesswork at the moment. It's an SSK, so it's a diesel electric, and it's specialised in anti-submarine duties. Um, it's a Netherlands boat. And it's likely designed for shallow waters or shore based it's not probably not a fleet boat not designed to actually cross the oceans just designed to work in the local seas so um yeah that that's about all i can uh all i can work out from the name I'm just gonna loop back around and come back on the six again so we'll have to drop another knuckle We've completely lost track of our own torpedo. We know it's running, I can hear it getting the pings from it. It's 
so I'm just going to hope our torp actually continues on. The fact that it's still dropping noisemakers is definitely a good sign. Boom. There we go. And there is the walrus, or at least as the walrus is represented in the Cold Waters mod, keeping in mind that uh, they couldn't add any new hulls. Okay, so now all we've got to do is out-survive this torpedo and see if there's anything else around here. Although I don't, I, I don't actually expect there is. If there was any other subs... Surely we would have fired on us by now. We're doing 41 knots. We're not exactly being quiet about the fact that we're here. Well, that was an absolute pain in the ass. Um, I'm going to do some editing here to cut that one down. Uh, the time it took, it took over 10 minutes to actually finally shake that torpedo. I had to carry a, I'm sure it was a Mark 48 now, halfway across the ocean before it finally decided to blow itself up. Regardless, the Walrus was our target, and we did get it. It obviously is not our primary mission target, but uh, that's all there was. No other contacts, and nothing else bothered us. So, one sub held us up. So we are going to continue into the Norwegian Sea and see whether or not we can find our actual target now. Alright, so let's head down southwest. Now, the mission did say that they're probably going to be going somewhere near Vartanavik, and we do have a surface fleet here. Belgium falls. Shock and horror follows in the wake of the Russian invasion of Belgium. Despite heroic efforts by Belgium's armed forces, the sheer brute force of the ruthless Russian invaders could not be stopped. Da, comrade. And it looks like we've got the surface fleet. Lot of targets. Alright, I don't think S1's out that far, but S4 is far closer. There's only 97 decibels in the water, so that's alright. Let's have a look at what you are. Warship. It's a container ship. Con sonar Sierra Four is classified as merchant. There shouldn't be any merchants in the fleet we're looking at. This might not be the right fleet either. Con sonar okay, Sierra so that makes sense. That is a trawler. Um, okay, so... It's Knox. This is not the fleet that we are after. This is not our target. This is a transport ship under escort. Or, uh, actually, no, 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 the, it's an anti-submarine warfare patrol that just happens to have a bulk container ship and a trawler in the area. They're not actually escorting, I don't think. Um, I need to confirm these. 
So what I'm going to do is pop the periscope. Make them three by eight uh, by. Shit, that one. <laughs> Detection threshold's high, but it's only two destroyers at the moment. I'm not too concerned. They're heading right. Alright, Master 4 confirms bulk contact. That is a... it is a container ship, a bulk container ship. That's a sprue. Surface running. Sprue is really close, so we're going to send one straight at her. And... Alright, so shot off at her. Just because I know she's going to. We were right on the maximum detection threshold then with the periscope up. And that's a helo. Feet. Alright, now let's get a moss off. And that healer. Oh, shit, that's the wire gone. That's alright. It's heading right down the path and it's set to activate short. We know exactly where the sprue is, so we should be fine. there. We've got a dipping sonar almost on top of us at the moment. I'm hoping if we stay at five knots and just dive down to a thousand feet, all that sonar will hear is our moss peeling away, making a hell of a lot of a racket, as it does. And the helicopter will bugger off as a result. It doesn't really matter what my angle is to where the dipping sonar is. If she's going to hear me, she's going to hear me. But i got to get ready for torps from the sprue. I'm not sure if a single torp is going to be enough to completely take her out. Come right to two I seven Elm I. So the torpedo's picked up on the target. And the sprue is aware of the torpedo. She's turning away. She's dropping noisemakers to evade. I'm just going to do the uh, 
the hunt for Red October thing here at the moment and just sit here and make like a hole in the water. is over there somewhere for the moment we worry about the sprue we take the sprue out then we'll go and take out the Nox and well judging from what we've got here that's probably it still see. This does show the difference between the US, uh, US and the Russian boats though, uh, in terms of sonar capability. If I was in a 688 or, you know, heaven forbid, a Seawolf, I'd still be able to see everybody for the amount of noise I'm making at the moment in this kind of, um, like it's 97 decibel water, I'd be able to accurately see both targets quite clearly and the torpedoes. But um, here we can't. Yeah, looks like it's re picked up. It's getting close. Almost on it. Probably too close now for the uh, countermeasures to work. Boom. And we got it. The map's got it really out of position to where it actually was. But there she is. So that's one target down, and yeah, this, this definitely isn't our actual target fleet at this point. We would have had helicopters and buddy rocket launch torpedoes and everything piling in on top of this with the moss in the water and a torpedo in the water and a ship sunk but there's been nothing so we've got well, we've got one more to take out here in the Knox and there was a submarine that was on that map marked as well so we might have to deal with it as well So, at this point... The helicopter seems to have gone. I can't hear it anymore. for this one. Um, I want to get... Let's jump position. It's... Oh, it's much closer. Range. 6.5 kill yards. Okay. Okay. Torpedo out to... Actually, no. Let's shoot. Let's shoot the torpedo down our moss. Alright, so the torpedo will move down. We'll use the moss to shield the torpedo to get it close to the Nox and then turn it onto the Nox. Six kilo yards out, it's heard that. Ah, oh, oh, this is interesting. The Nox is reacting to the moss. Alright, 
Right, that's really weird. It's it's acting like it thinks the moss is a torpedo. That's just a bit of a glitch in the coding. Doesn't quite understand it. Right, just trying to extend the torpedo control out a little bit past to where it is. This thing's just... Thank you, phone. Always beeping when I don't want you to beep. This thing's just all over the place. Although, oddly, it's if it thinks that's a torpedo, it's driving directly out in front of it. Where is it? There. Shit. Alright, so we got the torpedo almost on at six. Yeah, that's really strange. That's really strange. Uh, weapon acquired and... Lock it up. There we go. Camera's um the camera was tracking the moss and not the actual torpedo. That's why it was running at depth and turning when it wasn't. Regardless, there we go. That is the Nox out of commission. That might be the first successful stealth attack I've actually done in the Alpha. I don't think either the Sprue or the Nox actually managed to locate me the entirety of that engagement where normally I'm running for dear life so hey wonders never cease you can make a alpha stealthy all right so as expected the Nox and the sprue were the only two ships in the area and both targets were sunk uh, no encounters with anything else so we're fine and this was not your mission objective, which is exactly what I was expecting. Uh, well, guess we move on and see whether or not we can find the next one, or I think we're going to be fighting a submarine next. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this one, and thank you very much for watching, and until next time, yep, it's going to be a submarine fight. Take care.